Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to buy your first rental property with no money. Coming up. Okay, so how do we buy our first rental property with no money? Well, we're gonna have to get creative. If you don't have money, it's going to not necessarily be super easy to buy your first rental property, but it's super possible. You gotta get creative. So here's how you're gonna do it. There's a number of ways. Number one, you can partner with somebody who does have money, right? You won't need your own money, but you can partner with somebody who does. The second way to do this is to get creative with the seller, and you can buy the property with creative financing, or you can buy the property subject to, and basically have the seller allow you to take over their existing loan, or you can have them carry back 10, 20, 30% that you might have to be able to put down on that property to acquire that property. So number one, partner with another investor. Number two, partner with a seller, right? Uh, seller carry back or subject to makes for a great easy way to acquire your first rental property. My personal favorite way is to use the Burr method which will allow you to not have any money in the deal in the end. And you can do this on your first rental property, you can do this on your hundredth rental property. Now, there's a couple steps that are involved here, but the end result will allow you to buy your first rental property with no money. So here's how you do it. Number three, use the Burr method. You are gonna go find a deal on a piece of property, right? On a, on a, on a house or uh, whatever it is you're looking to buy, whatever type of rental property that is but you gotta get a deal. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go borrow money from a hard money or a private money lender. This could be Aunt Sue, it could be your cousin Bob, it could be a friend, it could be anybody and everybody, or you can go and you can find a hard money lender who essentially made a business out of lending and get the money to buy the property from them and then get a little bit more, right? Borrow a little extra, to fix that property up, get it rented, and then go talk to a bank and refinance that property, right? Burr, buy, rehab, rent, refinance, repeat. You can repeat that process over and over. But in the end, assuming you bought it at a deal and you updated the property, those are the two things that really help you do this with no money, right? Buy it at a deal so you're capturing equity day one and then upgrade the property. Now you don't have to go spend $50,000 upgrading the property, but you might need to spend 10 or 15 or maybe even 20. But the cool thing is, is you can borrow that money and you can even get more creative by borrowing money from a, maybe a hard money lender to buy the house and then borrow money from a private money lender to fix the house. You gotta get creative if you wanna do this with no money out of pocket in the end. It's very, very important that you understand you have to get creative. So the first way is to partner with another investor. The second way is to partner with the seller. And if neither of those work, uh, go and do the Burr method. I've done the Burr method over 200 times. It's not that difficult, but you're gonna need to build some relationships and you're gonna need to get creative. So find a lender, could be a hard money lender, could be a private money lender. Maybe you have equity in your home already and you can borrow against it. That's referred to as getting a line of credit and you can use that money. And then you're gonna update that property. And sometimes the updates we do on properties are small, they're five grand. Other times they're 25,000. So you're gonna wanna find a property at a discount regardless of what those updates look like. Update the property, get it rented, and then go talk to a local bank or a local credit union and refinance and that will allow you to pay back those lenders and acquire that asset with no money out of pocket, zero. That's the goal when we're buying rentals using the Burr method, guys. So if you wanna learn more about how to buy your first rental property or even your hundredth rental property and you don't wanna use any money, right? You wanna do this with no money. I would love to help you and teach you and work with you personally on doing this. I've done it over 200 times, typically have 10 to 12 of them going at any given time, and I don't use any of my own money when I'm buying rentals, and you don't have to either. You just need to know exactly how to do that. So go check out BurrMethodMastery.com. That's my program. 
and I love helping people and teaching people how to buy their first rental property with no money. Or maybe you already have a couple and you want some more and we can help you with that too. And that's it guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll be putting out much more videos just like this one soon. Thanks.